On demand, Storm Tracker forecast time, Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd. We started off the week with some Arctic air drooping across Montana, but as far as today goes, Thursday afternoon, those numbers are climbing because we have a warm front in the area and a 24 hour change in temperature from noon Wednesday to noon Thursday. You can see we're running roughly around 5 to 15 degrees warmer locally, but it's as much as 30 to 40 degrees warmer in areas along the High Line and around the Great Falls, Lewistown, Jordan area. So a warm front's pushing through right now, but that'll quickly be followed up by a cold front and a blast of snow as we go through the rest of this afternoon, evening into early Friday morning. These strong storms out of the west tend to favor mountains versus valleys, but mountains may be absorbing the brunt of the snow, but I still think we'll see a little bit of valley snow here as well. So through 1 p.m. here your Thursday, we are looking at a winter weather advisory, I-90 west of Missoula. Look out pass against some snow, and there is some rain, freezing rain potential there that extends up towards uh, Kalispell in the northwest corner of the state. But a winter weather advisory starts this afternoon, goes through early Friday morning, and this is from Great Falls to White Sulphur Springs. So Cascade and Mar counties are included in the potential. So those little belt mountains could be, uh, again, getting hit pretty good with some moderate snows. We go through this afternoon, evening, into tomorrow morning. But valleys could see some minor snow accumulation. So look at the forecast model. It shows, again, these scattered bands moving through the region. But there are some dry slots in there as well. But the bigger impacts, I think, are going to be over mountains and passes. And then it becomes very scattered hit and miss as we go the, through the overnight. And then partly cloudy to cloudy skies as we head into your Friday afternoon. And then clearing out as we head into Saturday. And the weekend should be improving. So as far as the latest snowfall forecast models. It has really downplayed the potential for valley snow, maybe an inch or two for Bozeman. That could be enough to ice up roads and bring some tricky travel for your Friday morning. But mountain passes like Bozeman Pass, Homestake Pass, uh, could be looking at some moderate snow. West Yellowstone, Reynolds, Targi Pass is in there. Island Park, likely to see some accumulating snow and some blowing snow out of this cold front. But look ahead into the extent of forecasting. Temperatures climbing over the weekend and then staying slightly above average in Butte through the first half of next week. Teens at night for Bozeman, it looks mostly dry. Once you get beyond the current snowstorm, which should be ending tomorrow morning, isolated hit and miss flurries on Monday, but keeping temperatures in the mid to upper 30s there on most days, teens and 20s at night. Dylan will give you mostly dry weather for your seven day forecast with 20s and 30s for most highs. And again, most days are going to be slightly above average. West Yellow's on a chance for snow tonight, tomorrow morning, but mostly dry over the weekend. And you can see temperatures will stay near normal next week.